So where are we heading to right now, babe? Boca Grande. Boca Grande is one of our favorite places in Florida. I have the coordinates on a sign over our bed. That's how much we love Boca Grande. So there's some cool things to see at Boca Grande. We're gonna go to a lighthouse, two lighthouses, right? Yep. One of them we actually might be able to walk in. It's yeah, we're hoping. The uh, other one's too rusty to walk in, I'd say. Um, yeah. But there's some cool... Sure <laughs> there's some cool, uh, cool looking uh, piers that go out and stuff. And the water has been beautiful. Yes, it's been beautiful. It's not as wavy today, really calm waters as like today. Beautiful blue. We are pretty sure we saw a barracuda. Yes, this morning we did another uh, bike ride this morning before we took our bicycles back. Watch this. I'm gonna go through the birds. And we saw a barracuda. It was pretty amazing. It's pretty big. Pretty big. And I found more. I went to try to find Shauna some seashells a couple days and I failed. I did terrible seashell finding. But okay. yesterday, no yesterday, or day before yesterday, when you're so sleepy. Good morning, everybody. I'm actually gonna head down to the beach this morning. Shauna's still asleep, so you hear I just woke up by the sound of my voice, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down here and see what it's like this morning. You guys can tag along. Looks like the tide might be up right now too. Come here and see if we can find any shells. I see something, I see a shell. Cool shell, let's check this thing out. It's pretty, I think it's in good shape. Sean will probably love this one. All right, I'm heading back. Did not find many shells. Maybe this will make up for the lack of shells that I found. situated. All right, cool. Well, let's flip this thing around and let you guys yeah. see. Yeah. Up here. Hello, how are you doing? Good, buddy, thank you. You got one dollar in there, buddy? Oh, let me see. I'm Yeah, Mark. I think we do. There we go. Yeah, that works. Yeah, I knew I liked it. There you go. <laughs> All right, have a good one. You guys have a nice day. You, right, too. you too. It's like that guy knew how much money was in my wallet. <laughs> You look like a guy that has a dollar in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna ask for any more than that because you probably don't have it. As we're driving to our destination here at Boca Grande, there's some cool facts about this place. They have a, like an animal problem, kind of like rats, right? They're a nuisance. A nuisance, yeah. So what are, what's the history behind that? Iguanas, so... Iguanas were brought here um, with cargo from Mexico and uh, kind of started to take over. So apparently, let's say, I think it said back in 1997, there were about 2,000 iguanas on Boca Grande Island. And I believe Boca Grande is only seven miles long. So that's a lot of iguanas, but now the population has exploded to over 12,000 and of course they 
eat all the little lizards and the little creatures here. They're invasive and they're a problem and now the residents of Boca Grande are concerned about them. Alright, we go pay for some parking. Oh, I wonder if I have $3 cash. You do. Is there a guy here I gotta pay? No, you put it in a... See, you just drop it on in there. So no. I think it's just like an honor system. I remember that part. I just honored. See, putting in money's in here. Yeah, it's see? on. We're not lying. There That's is money. Right Three dollars in here. Put it in here. Pay here. Pay the metal box. That's what everybody should do. Right. Videotape themselves doing it. All right, cool. Let's park. Get out here and check out these. These aren't like really big lighthouses here. No. Is this even considered lighthouses? Yeah. That's a lighthouse right there. Very cool lighthouse. This is a tight fit. You know what this feels like? It feels like I'm walking on the side of the building like... It's a far way down, people don't think so, but look. I'm, I'm walking across the edge of the lighthouse. Whew. I made it. We have to go back oh. <laughs> Man, what a beautiful day. All right, we're gonna head down to the water now and go down to the fishing pier and see what kind of views we got down there for you guys. It's usually beautiful down here. Let's go this way and then we'll come back down there. Watch out for snakes, so. We have to be careful up here. Oh look! Oh my gosh! There's a big iguana. Do you see it? He just went inside that rock. All right, that's Stacy. Oh, we have to be careful up here. Oh look! Oh my gosh! There's a big iguana. Do you see it? He just went inside that rock. There he is. There's another one, babe. He just went inside that hole. Come over here. He just seen me and hid. Let's come over this way. Maybe he'll come out. Wow, they're hiding in these big rocks. Can I see that guy right there? This is a cool place right here. We always love the way it looked right here. There's a big pelican down there eating a fish. So we're getting ready to pull up to the other lighthouse here in Boca Graham. But there's a cool story behind this is a lighthouse that we took a picture of we took a picture of many years ago. How many years probably? I don't know, last time we were here. But it was really rusty. Really cool photo. We'll throw it up if I can find it for you guys to see it. But uh they've redone it. They redid the lighthouse. Yeah, as soon as we pulled up, we're like, what the heck? Yeah, and this isn't right. She said they brought in like old cypress trees yep. from uh, somewhere in Florida. Yep, North Florida. North Florida and made like all the window frames out of it and stuff, redid all that. Railings to walk up. Railings to walk up. They said that it was actually, they just finished it like a month ago, they said, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Yep. And another cool thing is they're actually going to be opening it up to public once a month to go up the lighthouse. The lighthouse that we took you to at first, I mean, it's a cool little lighthouse you can walk in, but it's not like a it doesn't feel like a real lighthouse, like you would picture a lighthouse really big, like a St. Augustine. It's an awesome lighthouse there that we went up, or at Points Inlet. So this Ponce. one, Ponce, Ponce Inlet. So this lighthouse that they've redone, restored, is like that. It'll be a cool experience, so I can't wait to be able to go up this one day. It's just beautiful, check it out. about coming to Book Grand has got these cool spots you can take pictures. Shauna and me and Ashton had our picture yes. taken here. Yeah, this is cool. Look at this. Check out this tree here. 
This is called a, what is it? Banyan. A banyan tree. You can come right over here. They have a little bench. You can sit down and have your picture taken right in front of this tree. This I mean, this tree thing. Is for sale now. This tree is for sale. How much is this tree? <laughs> look, I sit on that thing. You look low battery. Okay. Have a seat, babe. Yeah. Look at you, supermodel. Supermodel Shauna. So yeah, so we're gonna get our, we're gonna take our. Be careful. What? Oh, it's got a big there's a crack in it. And crack it's in my seat. <laughs> in the banyan tree. Yeah, um, <laughs> but never mind. Yeah, uh, no, let's not go there. <laughs> so we're gonna take our photo here. So we're gonna go ahead and get off. But you guys, if you come to Boca Grande, look at these little spots on the side of the road. You'll see benches in front of in front of the water, in front of these banyan trees, in front of other cool things you can take your photos at. So Stop we're gonna, moving. You're gonna break this bench. I'm serious. <laughs> We're going to take our photo before this bench breaks on us. Yeah. That would be awkward. Yeah, awkward. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. He's going to snap a pig. He's kind of big. Hey, hey, little dude. Are you going to snap us? Snap him. Snap him. Come on. He's like, ah, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the road. He's fast. I see you in there. Oh, he's on. Oh, yeah. oh he, he's like, get away from me, you big guy. You guys eat me. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. I just had a heart attack because I almost stepped on it. And when I realized, I was like, grabbed on Brian, jumped in there. Terrified for life. I came to your rescue, Thank man. You, baby. You're welcome. Well, no problem. I was problem. looking at him too, like, what is that thing? <laughs> Uh, fun times on the beach. So is there something else? That's a dead mouse or something. <laughs> this little bird guy he keeps following us. Homerant. So let's see if we can flip around and see if we can catch him. He's been following us for probably about 20 minutes. He swims right up next to us. Here he comes. Looking for fish. Caught one fish, it was too big for him when we threw it back. He might be mad at us. Look at him showing off, here he comes. Look, spinning in circles. <laughs> Ashton, you want us to bring that little guy home with us? He has to sleep in your room. There's another one of our favorite birds here. Let's see if I can get it on video, you guys. Video for you guys, you can check it out. Alright, so I'm walking the beach line here and I found something really cool. Hopefully it's not too windy so you'd be able to take this in here. So there's a giant conch shell out here. I'm going to show you. It's very cool. So here he is. He's swimming around in here in the ocean. Or flipping around in the ocean. The uh, tide's kind of bringing him in. So let me see if I can get him up here to show you. Look at this guy. Huge conch shell. There he is inside there. You see him? Huge. I don't know how old he is. Put them back in the water. Well, we found some, uh, some manatees out here. We're gonna try to see if we can get close to them. We can't touch them, but we can see if we can get close. It's a baby manatee and its mother, it looks like. Yeah, we're getting closer. We're just swimming away. We'll try to catch that one later. Alright, trying to catch my breath. Run them back up. Whew. Some manatees. Let's see if we can get this shot. Let's try to get out here. Oh, there they are. 
I'm gonna try to get up a little bit faster and get back out of the water. They're right in front of us. One more shot at this. See if we can do it. It's a shallow place. Might get a shot. See that? the very surface. There they are. I can't go any deeper, pretty deep. They're still hovering around me right now. So I'm gonna give them some time, see what happens. Maybe they'll come back. See that I'm not here to hurt them. Wow, this has been a cool, cool uh, vacation. We've seen some incredible things. Yep, they're moving on out. All right, that wraps it up. Hopefully you guys got a good shot and you guys will be able to see it. I hope we got a good shot where you guys can enjoy them. Till next time. It's a sad day today. Yeah. Sad and happy. Mm -hmm. Sad we're leaving Palm Island happy because we're gonna go get action tomorrow so we our skin looks so, looks so much darker <laughs> especially is, you it's not a spray tan <laughs> no. it's a real thing but we're waiting for the uh, the barge to come is the barge or ferry I think people call it both people call it both so we're waiting for the barge to come we're really we're, hoping to see a dolphin Hopefully we'll see a dolphin. We probably won't videotape it if we do. It's gonna be too hard on the ferry. So we're just waiting, waiting, and waiting. Yeah. I mean, it's only been like one and a half minutes. So. I hear it. I hear it. <laughs> we had an awesome vacation though. Saw yeah. some cool things. So we hope you guys enjoyed all of our videos. Mm -hmm. And remember, subscribe. 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 It's gonna be somewhere down here. Look for the little thumbnail of our faces. All right, and with that. Don't ahead. forget, you need a YouTube uh, account to subscribe. Yep, you need a YouTube account. If you account. don't have a subscribe button, that's fine. All right, here comes the ferry. Bye. See you guys later.